All right, guys, what is up? My name is Chris Dominguez, and I'm here to give you guys a little bit of an update on my financial situation. I have been using Kuvera's products for the past six plus months, and uh, even before those six months, uh, I was using some of the trade alerts and the financial investment products. But uh, what I really want to focus on are the financial fitness products that I've been using. Uh, in this package, I have Money Pro, Credit Pro, and Deductor Pro. Now, Credit Pro, I have a team of experts that are acting on my behalf, and they are basically looking at anything on my credit report that could be removed, um, anything that is it might be inaccurate on my credit report, and they're basically working with Experian, uh, TransUnion, and Equifax to remove certain items from my report. And so far, they've successfully removed some items. I've already seen a boost in my credit score. And uh, over here, we have Money Pro, and this is uh, advanced training from Ross Jardine and he is also known as america's money mentor and we're going to double back to this area after we visit deductor pro now the reason i'm pulling up deductor pro is because this will give me and you the ability to take a look at uh, my financial situation and how it's improved since august so the reason i'm bringing up august is uh that is when I went to Kuvera's Ignite convention in Las Vegas. And when I went there, I got a chance to actually physically meet Ross Jardine. And uh, one of his sessions was just incredible for me. It was a, a wake up call because, you know, personally, I have always risen to the occasion in any job that I had and I've, I've earned promotions and I, I've made pretty good money I would say but on top of that I've always you know, as soon as uh, maybe 19 I've, I've always had credit cards and I've always used them and as long as I can afford the payment right I think I can afford what I'm buying and you know I started to learn that was the wrong way of thinking so here in deductor we have a pretty good snapshot uh, you can add uh, your bank accounts, your investment accounts from uh, whether that be any crypto accounts, uh, any investment accounts like TD Ameritrade. If you have a home, if you have a savings account, a mortgage, you can add all that in here, including credit cards and loans. And this will give you an overview of everything in one place. That's why it's such a valuable tool. Over here, I'm going to pull up my net worth calculator. and this will go all the way back a full year so it will give you a full year um, overview of where your finances are at as soon as you plug in all of your financial information into this deductor pro system now again back here in august after the convention uh, i was nearly seventy five hundred dollars in debt okay Flash forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight months later, um, I am now $3,743, okay, um, in the negative. Now, that's important to me. It, it's, it's been profoundly important for me to have this visual so that I can make better financial decisions. Now, there were a number of things over the past couple years that I really, really wanted to do. Um, you know, places that I wanted to travel to, uh, experiences that I wanted to have. And, you know, overall, it's been really helpful to see where my finances are going, where I'm improving, because I know now that if, if I simply delay some of those things that I want to do, I'm gonna be able to do more things that I want to do once I'm out of debt. So over here in January, um, I ran into a situation in which I dislocated my shoulder playing softball. 
And after that, uh, I was out of work for a few days. And on top of that, I had a, to go to and from doctor's appointments. And overall, I lost some hours um, in my, my weekly paychecks, the things that were allowing me to really tackle a lot of my debts. I was actually putting $500 every single month towards taking out my debts since August. Now, that's roughly 20 to 30% of my income on a monthly basis. And that really helped me um, skyrocket and propel my debt elimination plan. But one of the things that Ross Jardine talks about in his book, in his trainings, is that you need to create what is called a cash buffer for emergencies. Now, I figured, you know what, I do not need a cash buffer right now. I'm, you know, making uh, pretty good money. My expenses, I'm keeping them down, I'm keeping them low, I'm paying them on time. And I didn't expect an emergency to come up in my life. And of course, we never do. And when that happened, that is the first down month that I've had in, uh, you know, in a while. And I'm, <laughs> I'm excited to say it's only down 64.72 from the previous month. But for me, I wanted to see how can I prevent this from happening again? And you know, if it were a bigger um, financial hurdle or obstacle, how would have how would I have dealt with it? Okay. Uh, I had to actually tap into using one of my credit cards to pay some of my um, expenses, some of my bills throughout the last 45 days or so. And otherwise, I would have had all of my credit cards still paid off to this day. Now, I do not want to go back. I do not want to <laughs> continue to lengthen out the amount of time that I need to pay off all of my debts because from that point on, I can really focus on building wealth. So with that in mind, I went back into Ross Trading's training here in Money Pro and really got to learn the importance of creating a cash buffer. Now, the reason you create a cash buffer, and uh, here's my new plan based on my learnings, you, you create a cash buffer to deal with any emergency situations and uh, Ross does suggest having at least a $500 cash buffer. This will help you get out of most financial obstacles, whether you need to replace uh, your brakes, uh, tires, um, you have to you know, spend a week out of work because you're sick. That $500 buffer will get you through most obstacles. Now for me, my new updated financial plan is calling for myself to put 10% away into a cash buffer. Okay, that's savings that will help me get through um, the obstacles. Now, my goal is to have a $500 cash buffer uh, within the next month. Now, some of the things I'm going to be doing in order to get there a little bit faster is not only putting 10% of everything I make, um, there are some really great strategies in the cash flow quick start training that Ross brings up um, that really help you find that money in your current finances a lot quicker. Now, if you're able to pull up that information, if you're able to um, access that $500 quicker, you can really focus on paying off debts faster or if you are investing already um, into assets or uh, stocks or Forex, whatever it may be, you can focus on that. Now, down here, there are 12 videos that are extremely important. Each one of them has been really helpful in helping me uh, redefine my financial plan for this quarter. And I would suggest that you guys grab Ross's book for free. It's uh, at 60daymoneymiracle.com. I think that is an incredible tool to help you guys create your own financial plan. Um, and if you guys want a more advanced system that can help you track okay, your 
for investments, track your budgets, just get in contact with me, and uh, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, and at the very least, get, focus on paying yourself first out of every penny you earn, out of every dollar you earn, out of every hundred you earn, put 10% of that away for yourself. buffer but to have a little bit of relief in your life um you know if you're holding on to uh, some savings hope you guys again have an awesome night